might have remembered that we recently planted some carrot seeds in our uh, straw bell cold frame and we have some pea seeds behind us. Now if you remember when we planted carrot seeds, they were really a tiny seed and we just kind of scattered them through here. At this point we can see that they're starting to grow um, and we need to come through here and do what is called thinning out our carrots. Um, this is a practice that you will often use on a lot of your root crops or anything that really has a smaller seed to it. You can see that sometimes when you plant your seeds, uh, in our case here we had some water kind of wash some of the seeds that now have grown in more of a clump form and sometimes the wind might blow them together. But regardless, they're growing too close together. So right now they're competing for root space as well as for nutrients, water, and sunlight because they'll start to shade each other out. So we're going to come through here and like I said, thin these and we want to basically evaluate which ones are ones we want to keep and which ones we want to pull and get rid of. You can see there, there's not much to them. So we're just going to discard them, put them in our compost pile. But we're going to thin these back to about one plant every inch. This will allow them to have a little more space to continue growing. Now, of course, we will need to come back again later on when they're uh, getting larger and perhaps thin them once again. Now there also might be instances where you might want to thin your warm season crops. If you're growing peppers or tomatoes inside, a common practice is to put more than one seed in a pot just to ensure that you have one that does germinate. Here you can see we've got two seeds growing rather close together. And so we need to thin this out because again, they're competing for the same root space. They're competing for nutrition and water and sunlight. Now, because these crops, tomatoes and peppers, and some of your other warm season crops have a fibrous root, we don't want to, some people try to break these apart. But when you do that, you potentially could be pulling the roots apart and you're damaging one or the other plant. The best option is to take your plant and just snip out the other plants that you don't want to keep. That'll prevent them from growing and then you're not disturbing the root system on your plant that you're wanting to keep. Now that we've got our warm season plant, our tomato plant thinned also, we're ready to plant it in the garden. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.